welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is tip for Tuesday. So today I am gonna show you how to clean candy and other sticky stuff from the bottom of a pan the easy way. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, fun, tips and tricks for your kitchen, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below so you can find out how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. So if you watch Saturday, Saturday we made some beer caramels and this is what the pan looks like afterwards, pretty nasty. And before I knew any better, I used to just let the pan soak in the sink in like really, really hot water. And I would come back and some of it would have been like dissolved, but I'd have to scrub a little bit, put more hot water in it. I would just keep coming back to it over the course of, I don't know how long. <laughs> so this is the easy way to do it. Well, I read somewhere where they said there's two types of people in this world, like the type of person who really dreads scrubbing some of this stuff, something like this. And then there's the type of people who have achieved some sort of enlightenment through chores like this, which I don't believe. I, if there's two types of people, one is the one that is dreading scrubbing this and the other one who just won't scrub it and won't throw it in the trash and just buy a new pan. But now you don't have to do any of that. So what we're gonna do is, all you have to do really basically is just put some water in here and bring it up to a boil. By the time the water starts to boil, it pretty much has gotten everything dissolved and what's not is really easy to get rid of. So if you wanna take it one step further though, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put coffee in here instead. So let's say I was making like a caramel ice cream. So since you have to heat the milk up or the cream up to make the ice cream anyway, you can just use these little bits that are already in here of the caramel and impart more flavor into your ice cream. So you can do that with a custard or whatever. Any kind of liquid that you want to use, you know, to cook into something else, you can use your caramel or whatever candy you've cooked and, and give it a little bit of extra flavor. So what I'm going to do is just throw in, actually, I think I'm probably just going to put all of this in here. This is some cold brew coffee. If you're not familiar with this, it's completely different than regular coffee. So a lot of times if you go, um, you know, someplace and you order an iced coffee, it really is just brewed hot and then they refrigerate it, put it over ice. This is actually brewed cold, so it's a lot smoother. So if you're interested in this, I'm going to put a link to this in the description below. But I'm also going to put a link to a video where I show you how to do this at the end and in the description. So we're going to let this come up to a boil. And then once all my caramel's dissolved in here, I'm gonna store this back in here because this will keep in the fridge for about two weeks. And then as I get ready to drink it, I will mix it with some you know, heavy cream or maybe some half and half or whatever. All right, so we're just waiting for this to come to a boil. All right, so our coffee is boiling and I can tell that it's all off the bottom of the pan just by running my, my little brush here around it. And I did get out the brush because you know, once it starts to dissolve on the bottom of the pan, you'll still have some that's around the side. So I just like to take a little brush and just use the hot coffee or whatever liquid I have in here to just brush the sides and get the rest of it. And then there is still a little bit up here, but that'll come right off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off the heat. And I'm going to pour this back in here. So since our coffee has all the caramel in it and all the sugar, it's already going to be sweetened. So I don't need to add any sweetener. Whenever I put this in the fridge, I'm going to let it sit in there for, I don't know, until it cools off, a couple hours or so. And then I'll probably mix it, oh, probably one part creamer to three parts coffee. I don't know. I just always kind of taste it as I go. So it's been a while since I've done something like this with the caramel. So. Anyway, I hope that is very helpful. I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday with another tip. Bye.